The Great Drive with K-Easy. With K-Easy. Welcome, Nasty C, back to The Great Drive and a visitor to South Africa, Jumani. Yes, sir. Welcome, 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 guys. Thank What's you. going on, man? How you been, bro? I've been good, man. How you, bro? I've been great, man. Yes, sir. Look, I know you've been doing great. I've been watching. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, Absolutely man. killing it. You've been busy. Thank you, man. Jumani, welcome to uh, Cape Town. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I'm sorry you're uh, having to deal with the rain, but yeah. trust me, when you come on the right time of the year, you're not going to want to leave. What's a good time, you think? Uh, Christmas time. Christmas, Christmas time. December. Okay. Mm. Probably like what? Yeah. January. Jan. Party nah, season. I st- Party I season. Been, mm. I still been having fun. It's just, you know, it's just wet outside Nah, and cold. trust me. We'll yeah. make sure you have fun in that time of the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal music. Phenomenal musicians with me in studio. Let me give you a bit of a background. For those that don't know, you've been sleeping under a rock. Nasty C, bad hair, strings and bling. Zulu man with some power. Price City. Yes, Dude, I go way back with you, bro. Yeah, man. I go way back with you. It's been a hell of a journey. Huh? Price City, Nasty C. Yeah. Seeing him grow from a young man into the grown businessman that he is. Nasty C, something I wanted to actually share with you, bro. Mm-hmm. What's that? I was watching Black Coffee win his Grammy. Yeah. And then I sat and I was like, yeah, but I see Nasty C mm-hmm. one day winning a Grammy. I appreciate it, man. And, and I'm not saying that to be nice. I was just like, no, nah, man, I see Nasty C winning a Grammy. Thank you, man. And the first question I wanted to ask, because I want to put it out into the universe right now, right mm-hmm. here on air in Cape Town. Have you thought about potentially being an artist who can walk away with a Grammy one day? Talk to me. I mean, of course, yeah. Like, coming up, that was, I think, like, one of my biggest goals. I think as an artist, anyone who aspires to be any kind of, like, musical artist, you want to win a Grammy. You want that under your belt at some point, you know? Definitely. And then we grow, and then we experience award <laughs> shows, and then our opinions change a bit. Really? Yeah. But, but it's, it's all good. Though. I still respect the Grammys and, you know, what, what, uh, what it means for an artist to get a Grammy. It's still I- dope. Nah, no, I'm putting it out to the universe right now, bro. Oh yeah, I'll accept it gladly. I'll mention you. Ah, uh, no, no. Shut up, wait, wait, when he gets he it, will hold you to that. No, the Grammy's gonna oh, come sure. to the studio. For sure. The man. universe, if you're mean? listening, this man's gonna get a Grammy one day. He's doing it for SA. He's been flying the flag extremely high. Domani, it's your first time here in South Africa, in Cape Town. Yes, sir. Look, bro. Funny enough, I met your dad, the legendary, the iconic Ti. Yeah. He, in a club. The nicest guy ever. He actually yeah. came to the booth and was like, yo, you guys, my latest record, can you guys bust that? And I was like, "Yeah, this is T.I. <laughs> this That's is crazy. But now, look, bro, I mean, I was listening to some of your music, obviously, for quite some time. Mm. And I noticed that you speak about moving out of home at the age of 18. Right, right. In fact, in the song with your dad, Family Connect, right? Yeah. Moving out of home at the age of 18 and wanting to do this on your own. Why is it so important for you to do it on your own when you've got the resources? I mean, you're T.I.'s son. But here you are saying, no, 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 no. I want to step out and do this on my own. Why? Okay, so on my own, what I mean is, you know, just doing it how I want to do it. Do it my way, you know, instead of going the easiest route. You know, the easiest route may not be the best route for you. Mm. But, um, yeah, I just want to figure it out on my own, you know, bump my head on my own and, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I mean by doing it on my own. You didn't have to move out of home at 18. You could have stayed a little bit longer, bro. What's going on? <laughs> it was time, you know? Yeah. It was time. As soon as I graduated, you know, I didn't even tell nobody. I just got my apartment. And my mom didn't even know until, like, I ordered my couch and, mm. like, the receipt sent through the mail. <laughs> and she was like, what is this? And You're like, like, I'm moving out. Yeah. I'm going to do it on my own. Yeah. That's crazy. And you've been doing very well. In fact... I found some lyrics that I think relate to both of you, all right? Look, I'm not a rapper. Don't label me nothing less than the greatest. Don't compare me. Mm. Tell these guys faking it, I'll say it. I'm not a rapper. Don't label me anything. I'm still everything, future, (laughs) present, and past. Nasty C, that's coming off uh, Dumani's track. But you change your style. And I've noticed, I mean, Mm -hmm. for a number of years, you're always pushing heavy bars, getting your lyrical content out there. But then, I mean, even on this, you come through vocally. Why? I don't know, man. I guess I'm just, like, evolving as an artist. You know, I obviously want to pick up new skills and stuff. I want to make music that speaks to people in a different way, you know, so I can get that that other mark. Oh, oh, that uh-uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, buddy, why did you make it such an important statement that I'm not a rapper? Why? I'm an artist, I feel like, because... I may want to do something else and I don't want to really... I feel like a title kind of boxes you in. That's what I want to find out. Yeah, so... 
I may want to sing, or I may want to, you know, be melodic, or I may want to yeah. just write a poem, or I may want to just paint. You know, I'm an artist. All in, I may want to direct the video. You know, mm. it's just all the artists. Do you guys feel like rappers are boxed in? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, like you have to push bars. You always have to be fighting. Exactly. Yeah, and you guys don't want to be a part of that culture. Nah, nah we're bigger than that. What mean, you looking but, at? Paint me a picture. I want to know what that picture is exactly. I want to be able to. I want to be able to to do a show. Where it's like. Me and Taylor Swift are co-headlining with someone that's like yeah, in that, you know what I mean? Okay. Where it's like we can share that crowd. It's like people that appreciate good music. It's not just people that came because of my color or or something like that. You know what I mean? I wow. think when you like Drake, Drake has reached that level. Drake yes. is an artist. Like no one could ever dare to call Drake just a rapper. You know yes. what I think? Right, right. As a as an artist who's like very uh like all rounded pretty much. That's what you want. You know, you don't want to be boxed into the same you know, either you're a trapper or you're a backpack rapper. Nah, I want to be able to get on any kind of song and just kind of like murder. It. Absolutely. Yeah. And tell me something in the US, right? Mm -hmm. Is it is it tough? Are you received pretty well when you say, look, I'm not just a rapper. Mm -hmm. I can get on the vocal level. I can sing, but I can still put bars together. How do people receive it out in the US? I don't really talk about it. I just do it. And yeah. Then, you know, they'll, they'll hear it, but... People that have heard my music, they love it. People that haven't, you know, they still, I don't know, they still make up things in their head about how they think it may sound. Mm. Yeah. People that heard it, they they love it. They come to the show, they support me 100%. Absolutely, man. I've got uh, Nasty C and Do Money right here in studio. Come through with your questions, 71 They're rocking with me right here on The Great Drive. Hit us up. Good money right there, talking about being friends. Yes, sir. What's your name? No, man, I'm not gonna let my girl be your friend, bro. I'm gonna tell you. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that straight up. I, I want to look you in the eye like it's not gonna happen. Yeah. All right? And I want to <laughs> tell you something that's crazy. And uh, don't laugh at me, okay? okay. Nasty C, don't laugh at me. I won't. No laugh. I think I've been on radio here at Good Hope nine years, right? I've been. I did community radio three years before that. That's twelve years on radio. Mm. In my twelve years of radio, my little sister has never texted me saying you are interviewing so and so. Mm. I've interviewed Nasty C. But the minute she got the post of uh, the money coming to the studio, yeah. she's like, you, you're interviewing him? <laughs> wow. And I was like, well, oh, oh, yeah. And she, wow. I'm like, hi, sis. How are you? You know? Yeah. So, bro, your music's reaching these shores already. Yes, sir. All right? I think you carry a big weight and a whole lot of pressure being T.I.'s son. Mm. Is that something you run away from sharing? Or do you embrace that pressure and you want to pave your own way? I, I, I definitely embrace the pressure. Um... I definitely want to pave my own way, and I am doing it. But um, it's not that I avoid saying it. It's just you know, if you know, you know. If you don't, it's not that I need to. It's like a big chain. It's like I don't yeah. need to write, wear this big old chain. You know, I feel like I'm cool enough, like mm. as I am. So I don't really need to go around saying it. All right, man. All right, and nasty. You've taken on a huge task, and you've been at it for years. Mm -hmm. Look, you've been in studio with some of the biggest artists in the world. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's one thing to be associated, yeah. but it's another thing for you to step out and say, "I'm gonna be as good, if not better, than you guys." How's that pressure? Because I think that's something you said on yourself. You've got a, yeah. you've got your home ground in check. I mean, you're the man in, in South Africa. Yeah, you're the man in the continent. How's that pressure? Uh, I mean, it, I guess it's a good kind of pressure, you know, because it always brings out the best of me every time I do one of these collabs, you know, because it's like. You have to think about it like this. This is their culture. Every time I do a song with an American act, uh, uh, and especially when it's their song, it's like, this is their culture. This It runs in their blood, you know? This mm. They could just, like, get them, just start speaking it. It might sound like a rap. You know, for me, I have to put in that extra effort and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have to think, like, a step ahead and all that, you know? So I, I, I think it's a, good, it's a good thing, though, because it just it pushes me, man. It's like I have to try and... You know, at least match that person if I if I don't outshine them type thing. Exactly. And also, I, I'm going to get into this as well. Yeah. The world is looking at South Africa right now and everyone's talking about Mapiano. I'm sure you've heard about it all the way <laughs> in the US. Yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure you've heard about it. Everybody keeps talking about it. And I'm not going to lie. I was one of the few people who was very happy when Nasty C put out a video saying, yo, it's not going to happen with me. <laughs> okay, I was like, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Nasty. But now you're a South African and you're flying the flag yeah. around the world. Mm -hmm. And when you say you're South African, I'm sure everyone's like, okay, so where's your Mapiano? I mean, it hasn't happened yet. What used to happen was the Afrobeats thing. 
Afrobeats. As, yeah, they don't even. You don't even have to say South Africa. If it's anything Africa, though, it's like. Oh, so you Afrobeats artist, right? No, uh, no, really? no. What are you talking about? I'm not. I'm not Burner Boy. I'm yeah, not Davido. You know? <laughs> yeah. But it's like it's cool though. It, it, it's not even something that I mind, man. It's just you know I have to prove myself every single time. But uh, it's whatever, man. Is it tough, bro? Like, do they do they overlook yeah. you? Like, like you can be honest. No, it isn't because I think um, the fact that they they look at me and think, oh, it's an African guy. He's probably gonna do on my piano or something. Mm. Like that. And then I shock him with the rap. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. oh, okay, you know. It feels like they appreciate it even more because it's like, yo. You're not even from here, though. Yeah, you blow them from. away. You're doing stuff they're not expecting. Yeah, it's exactly. amazing. Absolutely. I want to go to my WhatsApp line, man. I got a question for you here saying, Yo, K-Easy, this is your boy Rodney. I wanted to know by Nasty C, how do you feel like when everything is not necessarily working out? Like you are trapped in a box. How do you lift yourself and make a success of yourself when you're trapped and you feel like things are just not working out? How do you deal with that, bro? I have, I have a lot of ways to deal with that, man. Um... And that happens a lot. I know people People might think that only happens like in the early stages of your career where it's like you kind of have to, mm. you know what I mean? Even when even when you think you're fine or when you're doing good, that happens too. You, you hit that wall sometimes and you just feel like, oh man, like, you know, am I even good enough to, to exceed this level at least, you mm. know? And there's a lot of things you can do, man. Sometimes the best thing to do even is just to take some time off, whatever it is that you're stressing so much about because you might have to step out a little bit and come back and look at it from a different perspective you know you might appreciate it more you know it might be some inspiration out there outside of the thing sometimes I get inspired just by leaving music alone and just spend some time with my girl my friends or something like that and yeah. just do something totally different like I just started golfing and stuff you know you that's, start golfing? that's golf, taking my mind somewhere you totally golf? different you yeah know? you golf yeah, yeah I golf uh, what's your handicap I mean I'm not that good <laughs> <laughs> Can you hit the ball? I can. I okay, can. I can't. So, so all I've done so far yeah. is just like I've just I, I stood at my little thing and I just hit the ball for hours and hours and hours trying to get my form right. And? My man, Do you know what I mean? I'm you enjoy good. it. It's I'm good. Very good. Awesome. Yeah. All right, and Dumani, yeah. look, I mean, in the U.S., I think the pressure. With regards to entertainment, South Africa and entertainment US, people don't understand the extent of how big the entertainment industry is in America. Right. Yeah. Right? And you guys can be grinding for years and years and years and years and years and not get a breakthrough. What right. keeps you going, bro? I think I just have a love for it. I have a love, I have a passion for just music. And music has been my way to express myself for years. So sometimes when I want to say something, I won't say it and I'll say it in my music. So. I'll always be able to turn towards music. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And welcome once again to SA. What do you enjoy about the country so far? Don't say the ladies. I know it, they're beautiful. Nah. What I was, else? I was going <laughs> to say the vibe, the energy. Like, it's just, yeah. it's always been good vibes, good people. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And the weather, well, aside from Cape Town, but it's been raining these past couple of days, but the weather's been cool, like LA weather. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Yo, Nasty C, what you're doing is huge. And I, I don't think a lot of people will acknowledge it. Thank you, the first thing that you're doing is you're exporting your South African talent to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you are coming back home and you're bringing talent with you mm -hmm. to show everybody around you that you can go to the world and bring the world to our uh, front door. Thank so really proud of you, bro. Thank you. Really, really proud of you, bro. You still got a long way to go. I want that Grammy. The money I have a feeling I'm going to see you on that Grammy stage. You guys are going to be competing one day. I don't know if it's going to be this friendly, <laughs> but I want to see it go down. I'm going to let you hold it for a month. Ah, so see. Ah, I want to see it go down. All yeah, right. We'll, we'll come put it here somewhere. We need to build like a little shelf thing. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Just keep it there. Absolutely, man. Nasty C. Domani right here on The Great Drive. And to sign off from this interview, I got the song. I loved it. I enjoy it. I, I enjoy rap music where an artist speaks their mind and they let you know exactly where they're at. And they address some of the st tough stuff that people throw at them. And that's Nasty C with Can't Imagine. We'll be back. That's the man himself, Nasty C. Some in South Africa say Nasty C. We spoke about that before. I know, I know. You, like, you can call me Nasty, you can call me whatever. Yeah, nasty. I want to share the story with you, Domani, so you understand who you're, you're chilling with here in SA. All okay. right? A couple of years ago, we did a pre-recorded interview. Nasty C came into the building. We did the interview upstairs. Right. All right? We walked out of the building. I walked into the car across the street from the SABC. Somebody spotted that it was Nasty C and forgot that they were driving. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they hit a car that was parked. Yes. That's when I knew I, this is a superstar. What did they do? Did they just leave after? Uh, the Joy, they hit the car and then they left. And I was just like, wow. And he doesn't even remember it. He doesn't I even don't remember. Even remember this, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. Nasty C doesn't even remember, but that's your star power. Yeah, that's dope, man. I mean, that's not dope, but. <laughs> <laughs> 
Guys, what you guys got going on, man? Talk to me. Uh, Ivy Sign Army tour, man. The the main show this Saturday. Thank you, Cape Town, for a sold out show. You Another know, every one. time. Yeah, they always show love, man. Thank you, guys. Sold uh, out. I hope to see you guys there tomorrow, man. Wow. The money. What's going on? Yeah, I will be. I will be at the show, and I have an album out called Skydive. You can get your Skydive merch. It's on uh, my website. You can go to my Instagram. Click the link in the bio. And that's it Friends video coming soon That Very was the song soon. you heard So yeah That's pretty much it Guys are working hard Guys are flying the flag Hell Great yeah. to have you In the country Nasty C I don't want to take Any more of your time This man is a busy man And I want you to go online And say Nasty C For a Grammy I want the universe uh, To hear us I want the universe To shake This is one of our very check? own Does it come with a check What, what comes with it Hey man if it's it does a Grammy? Can I get 15% <laughs> You didn't <laughs> say no. <laughs> I'll give you the actual trophy. Oh, keep the trophy. I yeah. keep the money. <laughs> All right, man. The Great Drive coming to you exclusively, bringing you the biggest artists in the country, in the world, live and direct. Don't you say anybody else does it better. Only the Great Drive. Feel it. It's all you need.